like everything that the teachers gave me, their support, and like even when I'm struggling, the after school programs actually really do help. But what I plan to get out of Cedar Shoals is, you know, just showing that I put effort into my work and graduating. I think a so. Place to do what? A, pl a place to do what? Like to fit in. Oh, oh yeah, it's yeah, it's a lot of different groups yeah. and yeah, that can. Yeah, find you a always find a friend that's each other. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're really friendly actually. Other people, Americans in Jackson's day believed in manifest destiny. In fact, Andrew Jackson was a big proponent of manifest destiny. The Trail of Tears. If you want to write that down next to Andrew Jackson, everybody knows what Trail of Tears was, right? Yeah. with what do you see and this will be the last picture that we look at are you ready for it all right so it's going to be what do you see and i just need two to three seconds i mean i believe that classes are can't be really defined as easy because each class is going to be challenging depending on what your strengths and weaknesses are like such as in math, most people struggle in math because they don't want to like really further understand what's going on. Me, my classes are like in the middle. Some, some, most times they can be challenging different, like the different topics that we're doing. The only real challenge I have is with AP World History. So, I mean, AP World, AP classes are supposed to challenge you. So I guess it's good that I'm not getting through easily. The Career Academy? Um, the AP classes, definitely, since they count for college credits and not every school in the state does that. E2020 is a good experience because like, if you're failing the class, you can get another chance to take it, but you're not taking it in the class, you're taking it on a computer. And I think that the after school programs helps a lot too. It can be difficult sometimes because the videos don't always help. I'm in band and I'm in uh, the jazz bands and marching band. So, uh, well, with band, it kind of occupies a lot of your time. <laughs> and I mean, like, I've met so many people through band, and like, it's helped with like teamwork. Let's see, I have orchestra and I mostly play the double bass all the time. Um, the closest is, I guess, clubs or organizations would be. ROTC for me. Um, I've been in ROTC since ninth grade and it helped me strengthen my leadership skills and help other people, you know, strengthen their leadership skills and become better people. Uh -huh. 